Hello, people of the internet. I'm Soul Rat Dragon, and welcome back, finally, to the Darkest Dungeon. Now, first off, I would like to apologize for the large, large lack of any regularly scheduled programming lately, but life has been a little bit on the hectic side. But it should be calming down now, so we should be back to our regularly scheduled recording slash uploading. Anyways, I don't recall what happened last time, so I'm going into this a little bit blind on what I wanted to do. Um, I guess we'll go off of what treasures are available, if nothing else. Um, the Sun Cloak is interesting, but not particularly useful. Book of Relaxation, that's not bad. Gives more accuracy. Less dodge, of course, but less stress overall. Could pair well with some things. And we're not heading there because, while that's very powerful, it is a champion level dungeon, and I'm not ready for a champion level one yet. So, I think this Book of Relaxation, as long as we don't already have one, that is, we do not. So, we'll go for that book of relaxation. This is an apprentice level mission. So, we might as well bring these two. Because they're level ones. And then, back row, we're gonna need some healing. Go for you and. Yeah, it's not the ideal party I would pick, but it's not bad by any means, I guess. Um, check, make sure their equipment is up to snuff, as is skills for these two. They're not. So we'll go ahead and spend a bit to increase those. You can actually attack from third position, so we'll go ahead and up Sacrificial Stab as well. Um, and you two are also good. Okay, uh, Trinket time then. You are second position. You... Hmm. See, we lost a lot of our melee thing, our melee boosts, which kind of sucks. So let's give you the Berserk Charm. It gives you more speed, more damage, but less accuracy. But if we give you the Focus Ring, you're still going to have that accuracy, that stress penalty, I believe. 15 stress and less virtue chance. But, and you lose your dodge, but your accuracy is better. Of course, that new book we'll be getting will be changing what our lepers are outfitted with. Next is you. I think we'll give you. Huh. Um. Let's dodge you up, actually, if we can. Can we? Well, it'll give you this, that, and the speed stone. You are gonna be our healer, so you'll take the Junia's head. And that's a 20% stress. We could balance out with the Book of Sanity here. We don't have any other occultist exclusive ones, I don't... Or, yeah, occultist exclusive ones, I don't think. No, I'm not seeing any. So, yeah, we'll just balance you out with the Book of Sanity. Finally, our Plague Doctor. We will, of course, take the increase to your accuracy for your stunning skills and such. And then, I think we take... Hmm, hmm, hmm. You don't really have a bleed. Um, less chance of being surprised isn't bad. More stun chance also isn't bad. That's great deal more AC, but I think your AC will be fine. I think we go for the Book of Intuition there. Alright, this is only a level 1 dungeon. But I am also doing this to get back into the feel of things because, again, it has been quite some time since I last recorded the Darkest Dungeon. There we go. I think that's how many I want to take. That. 
that, and then two stacks of fortunes. There we go. Alright, let's embark on the first journey in quite some time. I think it's been at least two weeks since I last recorded this. Yeah, um, life has just been very, very stressful. Last week was holiday, the halls because of Thanksgiving your lineage and all that. Once familiar. Wow, we got a now, secret room right Oren. off the bat. That's awesome. But yeah, it was a little stressful due to Thanksgiving and all that. You guys know how it is. Um, then I also had a test I needed to be taking. Test for licensing for a it was basically a general x-ray machine operator test because I am working towards that for my job. And, um, yeah, I think I did fairly well on it, but I won't know the results for a couple of days. At least not until Wednesday. I mean, if I get this pass, then I get, I think I was told, at least a $3 an hour raise. And three dollars an hour raise for me would be super, super good. But um, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear about that. Anyway, what do we got? How quickly the tide turns. I suppose that is the balance of it. I get a secret room right off the bat, and the only enemy that can attack ends up hitting me for a critical. It makes sense. Confidence surges as the enemy okay. crumbles. All that was done. No more fights for a little bit at least, but yeah, that happened. Um, a handsome reward old. for a task well performed. This mission is thankfully easy enough. Excuse me. It's just um, scouting the rooms. And the second combat isn't for a little bit yet, so that's good. But yeah, life has just been a little bit on the stressful side. It's evening out now, even though we are approaching the holidays season in regards of Christmas, but it's nowhere near as bad. Ah yeah, go ahead and check out the stack of books. Just some stress. Stress is fine. Stress can be healed later. And this could be later for the stress healing, because that generally does heal stress. Play grenade in the back row. Good, good. The missile artillery should kill the bird. So go ahead. Or we'll double miss because the game likes me like that. Well, they're both dead next turn regardless. Do the blight. So another one falls. And that happened. Oh. Um, I don't know. Retribution. Sure. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Them all. Oh, that's an interesting bit on the post for you. I didn't know that. Slowly. Gently. All right. This is how I life think, is taken. Uh, oh, wait. We don't have any holy water. Still. It relieved a bit of the stress, which, you know, is a bit too good. And more scouting reveals that. I think we loop around this way would probably be for the best. Yes, I know, I should probably not be checking all these things in cluster. Oh god, I'm very lucky I stopped when I did. Uh, 60, 70, 80. Ouch. Mechanical hazards possessed um, by evil intent. So claustrophobia, severe fear of ex enclosed spaces, of course. So currently the environment has been doing more to hurt me than the actual enemies have. Of course, I probably just jinxed it by saying that, but never know. Are you a thief? You're finding the stuff thief. is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Again, nearly got done in by the environment because I am not paying attention. As the light Fine. gains purchase, spirits We're doing are lifted, right job here. and purpose is made clear. Go ahead, read. I'm putting a lot of stress on the plague doctor, but he kind of deserves it after um, stealing from the party. 
And by the party, I mean me. The light. Because the promise I do of safety. Own this land. Okay. No surprise round. Oh, you do have the stun. Okay. Go ahead and blinding gas back. Just to get them out of the party for now. And then a missile on the damage. Based on that speed, we may get action for them, but not 100% guaranteed. Go ahead and what is your stun resist? Only 25. Rampart stun the big dude. That speed us. Um, like they're dead. You the formation is kill. broken. Maintain the offensive. Well, our play doctor. Cool. Awesome. Even if they are bleeding. The slow death. Unforeseen. Now, if our play doctor can get unforgiving move, which this should allow us. Um, go ahead and do it at 20. Sure. Double stack the bleed, but we get rid of the bleed, and we critical heal what was remaining. Nice. Uh, yeah, go ahead and reduce the stress slightly. Well, completely. That works too. Go ahead and bellow the kill. Falls, I didn't realize that's damage. But that is a very good one. I should probably use a bit more. Glittering gold, um, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Drop the anti-venom and re-switch around the party. Go north. That would happen. Ambushed by foul invention. That would happen. The way is lit. The path you know, is you're clear. the only one that doesn't have a lot of stress, so it's only probably the for the best. To follow it. Okay. Another combat. No surprise. Don't put a stun on back. And then artillery in the back. The ground quakes. Hit. You, you, you. Be gone, fiend. It's one. And then you can just crush. Executed with him. I consider having him mellow to slow, but that was kind of a waste. Go ahead and withstand. His speed is five. Why did you go first? I don't know. Um. Light. Light will kill, and we get another heal. Do it to yourself. This is the bleeding is good. For death by inches. And open the heirloom chest for the youth chalice. More health, but less damage. Interesting. We get further scouting. Okay. So that way would get us into fighty fights. This way will as well. The but it's one that is more easy. A blazing star and we get a surprise born. round. Alright. So, first leave the artillery. That sucked. So we can either go the play grenade, kill the acolyte, and do some decent damage there. I think we do the play grenade. So the Acolyte is done. Next, we will... Put a crush on him. He will live through this Eradicate. But that crit is dead. Okay. And you're focusing hard on the wall. Great is the weapon Guys. that cuts on its own. Madman dies next turn. We are going to have to be resting. this advantage. Give them no quarter. But all in all, not bad combat. 
This expedition at least promises success. That it does, Ancestor, that it does. Um In Radiance, may we find it. victory. There we go. So I think head up, then we head back to this room, head there, and then we rest. I'm trying to forestall the resting as long as I can. A confession booth. Go ahead. Hidden treasures are packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I was kind of hoping for some stress relief there, but oh well. But yeah, so far looking good. Stress is a little bit of an issue on the plague doctor, so we will be focusing on camping to get rid of that. Other than that, though, we are almost done with this mission. Got to the risk. More treasure, just 100 gold. I wasn't aware that you paid your confessors, or the ones you confess your sins to. That is new. And we're actually done with the mission. We'll continue adventuring, if only to get rid of the stress. Huddled together, Go ahead and feast. furtive and vulnerable. Rats and now, in a maze. So that's an encourage. As well, you and you. We don't have a lot of stress relief, to be honest, which sucks. But what we do have, we can expect. So that brings him down to 37. That's enough that I think one trip to anywhere should be good. Now, do we have? Any form of nighttime protection. That's what I'm wondering. Um, reduce torchlight, remove mortality debuffs. Seven stress all around. Oh, you have encouraged as well. I didn't see that. I'm blind, I guess. And we have three left. Um, doesn't really matter. So, go ahead and. Do it for him. There we go. And rest. No nighttime ambush. We're gonna head down just to get this curio, and then I think we'll call it a episode slash mission. If only Some treasure crests. could staunch All the right. flow. Other so that was us corruption. getting back into the group thing. Not a bad mission. The if great I do ruins say so belong to us. Not a bad one at all. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. That was very ominous of you to say, Ancestor. Very ominous indeed. Not a lot in the terms of treasure. We can get two level three heroes. You managed to get hemophilia, though, so less heat resist. You have more healing skills while campering. You reduce the weapon upgrade cost. That's actually pretty good. Alright. In time, no events. you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh boy. Tell us this debauchery has reached unknown heights, whereabout new heights, whereabouts unknown. So our lowest level bounty hunter is missing now. Okay. Um unequip everything and start the rarity again. And highest stress goes to these two. You Hemophilia is annoying, but there are, are places we can put you so that you avoid the bleeding. You have 29 stress. It's not terrible. So let's pop you in the not the bar. Let's pop you in the cloister to meditate. There we go. And then we check here. Oh, we got level 2 heroes. That is because we did do the Upgrade here. Yeah, it has experience recruits level 2 so we can get level 2 heroes from this now. That's awesome Still need 25 D's before we can get the final of the network upgrades This leper has the full level 3 equipment How many lepers do we have only two a level 3 leper wouldn't be bad. Oh wait This is a level 2 leper A second level 2 leper wouldn't be bad. I guess have a backup they have decent skills. They have withstand as a secondary, all at level 3. 
So that will save us the trouble of upgrading him. Yeah, I think we take him. And then this man have, understands that have. adversity and existence yeah, are we'll one and the same. Time, man, I think. Yeah, he's got the duelist repose, he's got the point blank shot, he has pistol shot, and he has open vein. He'll do. Yeah, he'll definitely do. So yeah, take the highwayman as well. Elusive. And then start Evasive. again by level. Persistent. We'll check what Righteous missions we have available so we know what to do next time. Um, the Worry Stone, the Dark Tambourine is useless. Uh, go ahead and remove this party. This is just for a book of sanity, that's kind of pointless. This one is getting the chalice thing. Hyman's sheep is kind of useless. Uh, dark crown, less stress at low 25, torches per 25, and more virtue chance. That's interesting. I've heard of Darkest Dungeon Dark Runs, where you run through on complete darkness to get stuff done. That could be interesting if I want to do that. Book of Holiness, less stress, and death blow resist. So that's a bit better than the Book of Sanity, actually. Interesting. And then the last one is the Quick Draw Charm. Plus 8 speed on the first round, minus 5% plus five crit, but minus 3 speed after the first round. So that one is sort of a risk-reward kind of thing. I think, though, that we do this long mission for the Book of Holiness overall, because that is a better version of the Book of Stress, so yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next video, because I'm going to try and limit it to one apprentice-length mission, one long mission, or a short mission, and any combination of the others per episode, outside of boss videos, that is. So, for now, I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below, and if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, though, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.